Hello guys, this is Gavin from Gavin's Club. How are you guys all doing today? And today I have kind of a interesting story to kind of talk about. Um, this story was just released about an hour of me recording this video. And it is about video, video. TV. So, there's the article. I have a couple articles here. Um, Vizio, V I Z I O. This article is from WCVB News Channel 5. This is our local news channel here um, where I live. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I just want to bring this video to my viewers, my subscribers. If you own a Vizio Smart TV, if you don't own a Vizio Smart TV, you don't have to worry. If you own another Vizio product, um, like a computer or something, you might not have to worry about it, but I wouldn't be exactly sure that you won't be spy on, on the computer. The soundbar you don't have to look, worry about because um, there is no kind there is no kind of data ship that is being sent to video for a soundbar and it's coming through sound. Um, so uh, the live California based customer electronic company paid two point two million dollars to the Federal Trade Commission in the state of New Jersey last week. The Senate minute was released after a complaint filed by the FCC and the New, uh, New Jersey Attorney General analyzed that videos collected customer data for more than 11 million devices and legally sold it to third parties. Third parties. So what are they talking about? Is they kind of talking about that when you watch a show on your TV, like, um, Netflix, if you have a Netflix and you watch Netflix show, or Hulu, any of them apps, you, any of them apps that you watch, or any of the shows, there is data that is getting stored in your smart TV, there is data that's getting stored in a chip, it's, data is getting stored in that, that, um, is that in that, um, circuit board? It's being, that data is being saved in that circuit board through a, through a solid state drive, through a little solid state drive that then that information will be sent to Vizio, and then Vizio is selling these this data to third-party application. So, because then the third-party application can can then oh, customers can figure out what you guys like, and they can make products to make sure you buy it, and. That is against the law because that's your privacy. What you do at home is on you. That is your privacy. Vizio had had invaded your privacy. Had violated your privacy. It's against the law. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They want to sell it. But they're not allowed to. When you buy any kind of product, when you buy a PlayStation, Xbox, laptop, any kind of product, window, there is term and services. And in that term and services, will say that by law, they are not allowed to spy, to take data by law in the term and services. When you agree to that term of services, you're agreeing to their term of services. By law, 
they have to put that in quote. They may not take data from any kind of device that they produce. They have to. They have to keep that data. They have to put that in there. That is a contract that Visuals puts out that you have to agree to to even make for it, to even go further using anything. You have to agree to it. If you break that terms of service, you can get in trouble. They break it, they can get in trouble. They broke that term of services by collecting data from Visio's product and selling it to third party services. They should get a fine. And if you own a Visio TV or you own if you own a Visio TV, you should put a complaint in because you could get some money back. Maybe. You could. And also, if you own a visual computer or any other visual products by a soundbar, you might want to check into it. Okay. On the set and basic visual collection, is a selection of pistols on the screen that are mapped into the database of TVs, movies, and combined content. What movie visual is running video data, cable, or buzzboard services? So if you have cable, you have cable, and you hook it up through HDMI, they are getting information uh, on what you are watching through your cable company, of what you are watching through your cable company, they sell it to third party applications so they can produce more, and sell it to people so you can cancel your cable, so you can cancel your cable. So now, cable companies can now get mad, because not just they take taking data from you individually, but they take taking data from companies that can jeopardize them. Okay. In 2014, the prime the private company began protecting television automatic automatic trick what viewers were watching. That information was sent to video servers. So all that data that you are watching through your TV is being sent to video and they are storing it through a server. That is against the law. That is against your privacy. All the TV version by installing the software remotely. So when you so when you do a software software update on your video, they could put a code they could put, put a code, they could put like a pad, so they can send information to you. So they trick you. How companies, like, how companies would do that is they, they are tricking you, they are tricking you to installing the software update. You you agree to the term and services, okay? Once you do the term, they trick you by making you install the system software update so they can track you. Even worse, video sold it to a legal obtaining data advisor. So now they're selling it illegally to these companies. And that's when that fine came in block. The company provided customers IP data addresses to data so when you hook up your visual tv to your internet your router is giving that tv an ip address and that ip address is being sent to video so then they can track you and get data from you the company provides customers ip data that matches the address with individual customers or households so they're taking that IP address and they're combining it and they can find it and they ping what they're doing is they ping your IP address to figure out what you are watching. Because everything that you watch on the TV or do on the computer gets that data gets collected into the device, into the IP address and can be sent. That's why it's always good 
to always refresh and change your IP addresses. The company provides digital calls to track and teach a smart into interactivity by setting the combine to able program offers and selections. So what they do is they try and make a program. That's fine. They taking your data and they are trying to figure out what you do so they can make a program. That's fine. They can do that. But they cannot sell it to third parties there. That is a privacy. When companies sign up, you're signing privacy means they are not going to share your information to anybody, but they only going to use it. And that's what the complaints are happening through there. You can ensure your video of sitting in the collection without your permission. Data without permission. The company disabled the feature and model purchase before 2011. Get the job you want in 2017 by getting your resume in shape quickly and easily with Resume Now. Get confident about landing your new job in 2017 with Resume Now. Telegram has a VIL Plus interface. Simply press the journey of a million miles menu button. Open the menu. They took the first step. Words spoken by a man who became known as the Crusader for Justice during the Civil Rights Movement. So Here's Judge Damon Keith pictured with some of his heroes, um, like Nelson Mandela, John F. Kennedy. It may come as a surprise, those words were meant for the late Mike Once Illich and his surviving story, wife Marion, for something the couple did that he says he'll never forget, and until off, recently, he hadn't told anyone. Problem. Well, of course, yeah. they don't go around like, well, now I just and I want to let, at this point, let them know. How much the you know, the best not only place around it city, is to go out there and buy yourself a meant so much Amazon a product, product was the mother of the civil rights movement. Like that. Back in 1994, Rosa Parks, in Rosa Parks lived here in Detroit. That same year, she was well, beaten and robbed. At the time, Judge Keith called on the community to raise enough money to get Rosa Parks out of the, the, the neighborhood she'd been living in. Customers are now Keith going two guardian to angels think twice answer about his the call. purchase of and Mike and Mary if I buy this product, are they going to take data from me check. and sell in fact, it to a third-party company? A and copy now, of their check now, cable back to them three or four weeks ago. Judge Keith says Mike and Marion Illich paid Rosa Parks rent at the Riverfront Apartments in downtown Detroit from that moment until the day Parks product. died more than a decade and later. Is, he didn't want to you know, visual makes see up a people product. suffering. Uh, they, this is I a picture of Judge Keith with a check from Mike and Marion Illich. He stores copies in his TV. office as a you reminder know, like that his friends that Mike and Marion Illich Sacrificed you know, so mistake, much for the city uh, they love and gave uh, so much to fine. those in need. They could, they could you never discover uh, new oceans you know, they, unless you, you know, have they, the courage they are paying, to lose they sight of the shore. The Mike and Mary uh, does not had mean the that courage people to lose sight of the shore product, and know, discover new oceans. They kept pushing product. Detroit. Products are good. And it had not been for them, uh, can, I am saying twice Detroit would not be in the Renaissance. Will this if stop me not. buying any visual products in the future? Absolutely no. I don't own a video TV. Never have. Um, I probably won't for a while until this happens. But I just wanted to bring this. And there's another article. Who's watching your video content? Spying at another article on that will get 1.5 million and the state will receive 1 million in settlement. Uh, so, uh, you know, what, what this said, I don't know, uh, but, you know, this is, this is, this is very sad that this has to happen to it. Anyway, this is Gavin from Gavin's Club. I just wanted to do that quick little video on what's going on with the videos TV and give you guys all a heads up. Anyways, this is Gavin from Gavin's Club. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.